week one of the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Eagles and the Patriots coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New England Patriots. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday, looking at two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it? a partner because everyone feels like they've got a shot at the defending champs. They think that they can be the new champ. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. Here, runner-up, he wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. Here we go, here we go, get set. Now Jones. And incomplete to open things up. But not the graphic that this fan base wants to see week one, Charles. They were hoping to see key acquisitions. Starters ready for week one. Guys still have to practice. They still have to train. And injuries do crop up. You're exactly right about that, though, Brandon. None of the people supporting this team want to see that graph. Third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Completion here as they fail to connect on third. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was seven yard return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And we are all season camp and the preseason that led to that first throw of the year. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards. But with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he had some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, he here's Hurts to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams. One more time with Swift. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But right now, no field goal here. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my good. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Now, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. At long last, the Eagles have found their new marquee number one receiver. They dealt for Brown in last year's draft, and all he did in year one was set a new franchise record for yards. Up aside. Hurts completing this one quickly. Touchdown, Eagles! Quez Watkins from 10 yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work. The other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see a tackle or a tight end in the direction they wanted to run the football. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And this return is going to be halted right around the... Because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. 
Picked up by James Bradbury. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Looking to throw. Jones. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame. And any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time. Back to throw. Jones. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Jones throw here taken in by Parker. He's still on his feet. Devontae Parker, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Devontae Parker. Silly of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first. Maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on. And then they'll stand before they're backed up even further. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Come. That one complete down the field to Smith. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Big yardage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown. A.J. Brown. 43 yards. And the Eagles are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on here. And partner, you know NFL coaches, they're on the sideline thinking about exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the... And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Mike Gesicki a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. Drain the clock. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Eagles are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one. And one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season.